Hi everyone, uh, Radical Gardener here, and this is my first official interview for uh, my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to interview Jeff first because, well, he's a good friend, but also his work is so exciting and it's made a difference in my life and a lot of lives around me because I shared his information right away and we used his products. So, um, yeah, then I, I think you're really going to love this. So, um, Jeff, I think what I want to do here is just start with your background. I mean, your background's kind of the perfect storm for the yeah. work that you're doing now. Correct. Wouldn't you agree? It's really Absolutely. been this culmination of knowledge that all felt, you know, yeah. fed into what you're doing. So go yeah. ahead. Well, I, I'm, I'm a licensed electrician. I'm a, a practicing homeopathic physician. And... Uh, I, uh, I spent a good part of the 90s also working uh, w with an electronics company, doing a, uh, working in the, uh, the electrical engineering department, working with electrical engineers. I'm not an engineer myself, but I picked up a whole lot of knowledge from working with those guys. And um, everything kind of came to a head when I had a back injury at work. And I went through all the normal channels to uh, try to get better. That was uh, going to chiropractors and medical doctors and, and uh, uh, physical therapy and stuff. And, and it was all great, and everybody did a great job. But I still wasn't getting there. I was, I was very, very sick at that point. And a friend of mine told me that it would probably be a good idea if I went and saw this uh, homeopathic doctor. And at that point in time, I had laid on my living room floor for about two months, incapacitated, and wasn't really able to move or do much of anything. So I really didn't have much of a life at that point. And anyway, so I went, I went, to, uh, I went and saw him, and uh, he checked me out, and I was there for about an hour. And what, what he had told me in, the, in that hour's time was just absolutely mind-blowing to me because he just he had so much experience and so much knowledge, and, and he had tested me with some uh, uh, EAV equipment, or, uh, uh, electrodermal screening, or electroacupuncture, according to Vol. So he checked all my, all my meridian points and everything, and, and he, was, he was kind of a gruff old guy. And uh, he, he sort of really cracked the whip on me. <laughs> he said, look, he goes, I think I can fix you, but uh, you really need to straighten your act up. And I knew what he meant. <laughs> you know? I said, yes, sir, and, and, and we proceeded on with it. And what I learned there was re really, truly um, the whole picture about health. Uh, you say my, a lot of people say mind, body, spirit. It's true. It really is true. I know that's kind of a cliche statement, but it absolutely holds true to this day. And uh, so through homeopathic medicine, energy medicine, um, and detoxification procedures, uh, certain supplements, key supplements and things like that, and exercise and uh, stopping smoking, you know, doing things like that, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I was able to get better. And, and, and within, within a couple of weeks, I, I started really noticing a difference. And I was able to get out and start walking and uh, start moving around and, you know, doing that, excuse me. And um, so that's, yeah. that's kind of where it starts yeah. at. But, yeah. but really, the energy, the energy thing started back in 1977 when I picked up a guitar. And I understood that there was a relationship with sound and colors and things that you would see because I would just kind of, I was able to kind of go into my own world when I played music and it took me somewhere. So I knew there was something else going on other than just the standard view of reality that we live in. Right. You know, and so, that's, so here you have this combination <clears throat> of, because then you, you're you now a doctor of homeopath, uh, homeopathics, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a diplomat of homeopathy. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So you have your, a degree in homeopathy, yeah. and then you're a musician, yes. right, and an electrician. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, so that kind of brings us to now. Yeah. And so you have a few of these products. Now, you yeah. had seen some real consistent problems in your patients, right? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. And was it through observation <laughs> and just analysis and your research is that how you found out that there was this common thread that everybody was suffering from? Is Am I saying that right? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, after I got out of school, I, I bought a test equipment, once again, going back, back to uh, EAV testing. And uh, I had studied homotoxicology and classical homeopathy and nutrition and things like this. And, and I quickly noticed that um, a lot of the, the classic homeopathic remedies that you would were well proven over many, over a hundred years yeah, time, right. you know, 
uh, uh, just didn't seem to be working as well as they used to. And I, and I just didn't put the picture together and I, I started doing hair analysis, uh, mineral hair analysis, and I would take a hard look at that. And I was always wondering why I was having such a hard time getting things to come into focus, you know, bringing the, the chord into tune, like playing music. Why is it just a little bit out? Like their personal vibration, their personal it, chord. Yeah, the personal okay. chord. And so I discovered once again, through my own hardships of, of, of being a, a basically an insomniac, I didn't sleep well. I was up between one and three, you know, every night, right on the money. And in and, and, and a, a Chinese medicine, of course, they, we would call that a problem with the liver and the gallbladder meridian. And it's true, you know. Uh, and, but there was another element to it there. So at, when I would wake up and I couldn't sleep, I'd run into my office, which was in my house at that point, and I would start looking at the meridian points. And I started noticing big anomalies in the autonomic nervous system. So say, explain what the autonomic means. It just simply means the automatic nervous system. It controls everything that you don't think about. Okay. Which is just about everything. Okay. Okay, and it does control everything. You have two branches of it. One is called the sympathetic and one is called the parasympathetic. Okay. Right. So parasympathetic is your rest and digest mode where you're, in the, you're, you're relaxed and everything's great. And the other mode is the sympathetic mode, which is more of a fight or flight response or more of a uh, where your body's on alert, you know. So and, I would imagine that you'd want those two systems hmm. to be coherent with each other. Absolutely, and they balance just like a teeter-totter, okay. you know. So what I noticed is, is that if I measured my autonomic response at 9 o'clock at night and then measured it at 1.30 in the morning, it was radically different. Huh. And... I started looking then with my equipment and I started finding out that electrical anomalies and Wi-Fi routers and computers and things like this that were all on were causing were causing the autonomic to be tipped out of balance. Okay. And I found that very interesting. So I started adjusting it energetically and that was a big help. So how did you adjust it energetically? With the equipment that I have, I'm able to create radionic remedies okay. or homeopathic remedies, kind of on the spot, energetic okay. remedies. And uh, uh, it, w it was really, really helpful. And But that wasn't quite all of it. Okay, it, and I'm just going to stop for a minute here because this is my fault. I should have been more clear. Maybe not everybody knows what homeopathic means. It isn't like an inoculation, pretty much a, a homeopathy if it didn't have all the junk in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, homeopathic medicine is, is the law of similums. Okay, so let's say, for example, if somebody went out camping and they rolled around in poison ivy, and they came to me and s told me what they had done and confirmed that it was actually poison ivy, I might give them a remedy called rust toxidendron, which is made from that plant. Okay, so it's a similum. In that particular case, it's almost more of an isopathic remedy. But uh, anyways, uh, you would do that and you in, would attenuate it homeopathically and give it back to that person to erase or cancel that uh, a blockage in the nervous system that's created. Because we have to remember that every, nothing occurs <coughs> in the body unless it first registers in the nervous system. Okay. And once it's registered there, whatever it is, it stays there until it's eliminated. And the only way that you can usually get rid of that is, is, is with a homeopathic remedy. So it's the, the wisdom of Hahnemann, uh, who is the founder of, of, of uh, homeopathy uh, in the current form that we know it, um, it's just absolutely incredible right. <laughs> at that point in time to, to do that. Sorry about the coughing and that I cut you off. That's all okay. right. <laughs> okay, so I think that helps that people know you know, a little bit about what homeopathy is. Yeah. So then that brings us back to what we were talking about. So yeah. you saw all of this going on in, yeah. in the system, especially yours. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, the electrosmog is all around us all the time. I mean, if we could actually see stuff that wasn't in the visual range, um, you know, we wouldn't even be able to see each other sitting right here. There's so much of it uh, naturally occurring and mad-made. There's just as much, you know, it's geopathic stress. There's, there's all kinds of energy stress around us all the time. So we just deal with it. The way, the way out of all this is to build health. We just have to make ourselves stronger overall. 
but we have to eliminate the interference. I just call it interference. It's like, I'll just keep referring back to guitar chords. It's like playing a chord on the guitar when the guitar is out of tune. Disease is not attunement. It, it, disease is a disharmonious situation, you know, and we have to go in there, we have to correct it, but we have to find the offensive things that are causing the disharmony. And for me, it was the electrical issues because, it, and, I'm, and there's many, many more, but for me that resonates with me because that's the way my, I think, you know, it's my background. And so through the use of homotoxicology and classical homeopathy and cr the creation of my own remedies, which is what we're going towards now, um, I've been able, to, been able to greatly mitigate the symptomology of, of what happens when, when you're exposed to that kind of stuff. And uh, it, it just, the nighttime thing is really uh, something that I see uh, to a certain degree with everybody. Now, just, and here's an example. Um, electromagnetic energy and light and things like this uh, directly affect the pineal gland. And the pineal gland, of course, produces melatonin. And melatonin is an extremely powerful antioxidant, and it also helps to regulate the, the sleep cycle. I can't tell you how many people come into my office that don't sleep. Mm -hmm. They're up all the time, mm -hmm. and then try, and then they're so wired and, and tired. And you can't during the heal. Day. You can't heal if you, you have can't rest. heal because no. you never go into healing mode, which is the parasympathetic mm -hmm. uh, anabolic state. You're you're caught in a catabolic state, which is is more of the uh, the fight or flight response, and you just don't rebuild. You don't. Nothing really functions because it's not. You're not meant to be in that state all the time. You're only meant to be in that state when you're running away from. The dog is chasing you, or something, you know, or in that in that mode, fight or flight response, I guess you would call it. And um, so, but uh, the other part of the equation when I started doing hair mineral analysis was realizing that the people who were most affected by it were the people who had very serious mineral imbalances and toxic metals, aluminum, cadmium, arsenic, uh, 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 things like this, mercury, you know. Uh, I have a mouthful of mercury and it's copper toxicity, you're an antenna. And so, you know, you're, you're picking up that kind of stuff. So I found out th through uh, uh, adjusting the body's meridian system uh, uh, with homeopathics and home, home toxicology, and then also working the minerals mm -hmm. and, and, and analyzing and kind of putting those two pictures together. Uh, and EAV being the, the, the catalyst of that and kind of bringing everything together and being able to make the remedies and stuff, um, that sort of really brought the whole picture together. And that's where I'm at now. Okay. So, so you know. let, let uh, you said something, and I, I just want to, because I've often wondered about this because I teach a lot of young people. Um, when someone has braces, yeah. does, it, does that act as an antenna? I mean, uh, tell me how that affects the Anything body. that's conductive acts as, as an antenna. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know, and the body has a, a, also a, a lot of capacitive effects. You know, it. I, I'm here to tell you that when you look at the way the nervous system works and the way the endocrine system works, and you, you, you could lay it out exactly like an electrical circuit on paper. It's the same exact thing. You have negative feedback loops. You have, you have resistance, voltage, capacitance. Um, in, on, a, on a meridian point that's maybe malfunctioning, you've got a voltage drop, you know, you've got a, a, a drop of the flow of electrical energy. And meridians are just really uh, 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 energy, streams of energy inside the body that correspond with different organs and glands and things like that. So you really get to see a lot of uh, interesting things. Uh, and you see a lot of reoccurring patterns, especially when you test people with EAV which I think is just absolutely the, the way of the future. I right, mean, the smart yeah, meters. It, 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 smart meters, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, I'm not here to instill any uh, kind of fear in anybody. About, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of misunderstanding about that, but uh, it, our smart meters and um, Wi-Fi routers, routers and things like this affecting you, you better believe it. And it's very easy to measure. It's very easy to measure, you know. Right. Um, just like when you muscle test somebody with a cell phone and you put the electro into the toroidal field. Which you, we'll be doing, by the way. It's pretty <laughs> dramatic. You Go can ahead. see very easily that, well, wait a minute, there's something happening here. You know, and it, it really wasn't hard to do. It's just that I just happened to be able to apply my, my experience and knowledge as, as working in the energy field and working in electronics 
and I was able to transfer that in, into uh, making the homeopathic remedies that corresponded with those resonances. So, so you're really taking, uh, uh, you're taking uh, 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 resonances and, and, and putting them in the toroidal field and having them basically be antagonistic towards the ones that are externally around you. Epigenetic influences are things that occur outside the toroidal field but are influencing everything internally. So Electro and, and Aerial and those remedies that I'm working on now are, are very, very interesting. Yeah, and they're uh, great. I use them in a big <laughs> they difference. Do, they do work. <clears throat> yeah, they do work. So let's talk about Aerial. So and we've been talking about the EMF yeah. and Electro. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, Tell me what of what Ariel does. What what does that remedy do, and and why? I mean, why did yeah. you develop Ariel? Yeah, well, Ariel uh, uh, first and foremost is in a base of very very high quality colloidal silver. Okay, and I I really like colloidal silver a lot for its antimicrobial properties. Now, Ariel, um, hence the name was developed uh, first of all for people with allergies okay so I had I have a lot of acquaintances and patients and people all over the United States that are always willing to participate in experiments so I had about five or six people from all you know all over the states send me rainwater samples and I started testing some of these rainwater samples and stuff. And this is good very quickly after Fukushima happened and stuff like this. And, and I started noticing some anomalies in that. So I just kept doing it. And I kept collecting the rainwater. And I, and I started attenuating it and diluting it homeopathically. And then using my test equipment to transfer those, those resonances into remedies. And I started seeing some pretty dramatic things happen. And so um, anything that comes from the sky is in the aerial remedy and i'll kind okay. of leave it at that i think yeah, every, yeah. i think everybody knows where i'm going with that but it, it it's it it's really really interesting to uh uh to to say that have somebody come in and say well you know i'm kind of it's it's uh, it's pollen season or you know those little those little cotton balls are floating around again oh yeah well, bring me some of that and i'll test you on it and then i test it on the aerial remedy and it always seems to really mitigate most of the symptoms of that and it's it, with with aerial and electro they're both continuously updated so i'm i'm on, on top of that all the time and uh and it's still i'm not doing it in the classical sense of the way you would normally prepare a homeopathic remedy um i'm doing it electronically <coughs> and so that's where the difference comes i, I came up with a with these these little vials that I call collectors, and I I'll, I'll give those to people or, or give them to uh, to put in their areas or maybe outside their house or, or next to their smart meter or things like that. And I'm able to I figured out how to capture the subtle energy patterns, and then I prepare those homeopathically and put those in the remedy. And it's just really a very simple process, and, and but it works wonderfully well. You know? So, uh, uh, Jeff's not going to really say, but there's you know, there's some weed killers we'd rather not have around, and definitely deals with some of those. And we'll just leave it at that. And again, you know, the audience that the audience that yes. is watching this know they're they're very educated, You're all very they're, intuitive, you and know they're it. very aware, and they they know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Okay, so. Wow, so now what? So now getting it out there, right? I mean, that's what we want to do. We really want to get it out there. And we're going to show you a muscle test with this, which these guys don't even know. We're going to use them as guinea pigs to yeah. do it because the less that they know how this works, the better <laughs> because just, it does work. I decided that, and this I have to bring this up because this is kind of my creed. Um, if, you, if you look in the Bible, there's a passage called Ezekiel 33. And it's a very short passage, and it basically just says that uh, it's about what they call the watcher on the wall that watches over the village. And I, I've always felt like I was kind of that person. And it basically just says that if you see something coming that's going to harm a child or harm somebody in the village and you're the watcher, you have to report that. You have to blow the silver horn and let everybody know that that's, that's coming. And if you don't do that, then... And, and, and a young child gets harmed or something, then that's on you. Oh, man, I, you and, know, and, I, I can totally <laughs> hear you. I so hear you. And I read that and I went, wow, that really resonates with me. Okay, I, and I'm not, as you can see, I'm kind of long-winded, but I, I, uh, I, I don't have any problem 
in, in calling it the way it is. And the, the bottom line is, is that we're, we're kind of in a bad situation here, okay? But the good news is that there's a lot we can do to right. almost I completely agree. mitigate the symptoms. I, know. Of that. I, I don't know. care who's doing what or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I don't even care. All I care about is that we have a solution. That's me Only too. solutions. That's why you, know. you and I get along. I, I just had <laughs> a, a problem, just solutions. I just had a conversation with someone because I'd come out and seen really blue skies today. I mean, I hadn't seen that in a long time. I said, "Well, that's a kind of a good sign." I wonder what's going on. Yeah. I don't know if it's long, but anyways, it was an observation. And right away, there were people going, "Well, it's not like that here." And it's going, you know, people are so married to living in the problem. Yeah. And and they become so victimized by it that yeah. they never do look for solutions. They just yeah. complain. I mm. get that you you don't like what's happening. Yeah. I get it. But opinions, everyone's got them. Please, let's have some ideas because ideas is what's really going to move us forward, you know, and and that's where we can really have discourse. Yeah. And I and everything wants to heal, and that's what's so beautiful about complementary medicine yeah. is that complementary Complementary medicine really sees people as a, uh, that they're on their way to getting healthy. They yeah. don't, you know, it's like identifying the health. Yeah. Whereas in, you know, in in um, allopathic medicine, they're always focused on the disease, the illness, yeah. the illness, the illness. How many times has yeah. someone said, oh, I only give you two months and that person's lived forever? Yeah. You know, I mean, they're so tuned in to the yeah. illness and not to the wellness. Yeah. So it's a different way of looking at things. Yeah. And I prefer this way because I, I believe the earth and us and everything around us really is about getting healthy and renewing and you know, evolving and all of that. I mean, I know that that's what I see. This is all about it just simply uh, removing obstacles so your body can repair itself. Oh, yeah. We would like to think that we're the ones that are doing the healing. We're not. All we're doing is removing obstacles so that we're helping the body heal itself. And right. it will do that if given a chance. Right. If we can take the toxic load off, if we can balance out the meridian system, and we can balance the minerals you 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 can get through anything right. and, and I've seen people pull off the impossible and, and that that were sent home to die and said just simply stood up and said I'm not going to go out this way I'm going to I'm going to slay the dragon with the silver sword and I'm going to do it myself now how do we do it right and 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 just pull off the the unbelievable so yeah. I, I, I just I I just I think that, it, you know, we can get through anything, but we all have to collectively help each other. Yeah, right? absolutely. And, yeah, and that's what it is. Yeah. I'm so glad you're doing that because uh, this is really helpful. I, you know, I use this on my animals, on me. This is also how I know it really works is I didn't read the directions, typical. And, um, and so I just started wearing at that time it was the jewelry. He has sprays, and we'll talk about the different things he has. And um, and I I was getting really sick while I was detoxing. Right. And and the instructions are you might want to wear this a little bit, you know, short periods of time and right. then build up to it. Mm -hmm. And of course right. I was always had a cell phone in my hand, yeah. always in front of a computer. That's right. I was in a band, always around electronic instruments. Of yeah. course I was gonna detox, you know. Yeah. So, you know, that's how I knew. Yeah. Um, well, is there anything else you'd like to say? Because I, I think I'd love us to do the demonstration, but what else would you like to talk about? Anything else? No, not really. I mean, it, it just that that just remember that you, you can overcome just about anything and, and that there are solutions out there and there's there's people who are willing to help right and that's oh really, you know uh, i you did know. want to ask you this in mm -hmm. in, um, in homeopathy because so many people say they have these <clears throat> remedies you know like right. if you just wear this necklace right or if you that don't you doesn't it have to be in crystal form or does it have to be liquid or what holds the imprint yeah, that's a good question. Well, you know, I it, with the with the uh, the jewelry, I use uh, a rose quartz, or, or just a, a clear quartz, and I find that that works quite well. So I'm, that holds the imprint. That holds but the imprint. Like, yeah. But like metal wouldn't hold the imprint. No. No, I no. didn't think so. I always thought that was a bunch of. Yeah, yeah, it really is, and uh, 
Um, so, so yeah, and, and liquid vials and stuff like that. Sure, you can. You so can you can use have that. it in a vial. So you that can, would you, hold the. You can have it in a vial. Some people don't like the jewelry uh, aspect of it, so I'll make them a little collector vial or whatever, and they can keep it in their pocket. Which is what my keychain. husband does. Yeah, and that's perfectly fine as long as it's in the toroidal field. Uh, it doesn't matter where you can put it anywhere you want to, and it works just perfectly. Yeah. Well. Um, I guess uh, you know we're just going to take a short break when you get set up so that we can uh, we can demonstrate this. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a part two of this because we want to talk about what Jeff's working on next and what we're talking about in regards to gardening and that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll be right back with you. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, so what uh, I'd just like to show you a quick kinesiology test uh, and and show you what happens to your nervous system when you introduce something antagonistic into your field or into your energetic field. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna use a cell phone that's on and broadcasting right now, and uh, here's how we're gonna do it. So I'm going to have you place your hand over your spleen here. I'm gonna have you hold your arm out like this, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna push down on your arm, but I want you to not let me. Okay, give me some good pressure there, okay? That's pretty good, okay? And I'm gonna take the cell phone here. I'm gonna have you hold it right there. And I'm going to perform that same test again. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns into a noodle. <laughs> okay. Okay, this I'll is, do it. This is blocking your nervous system, okay? All right. I'm look. going to take electro, the electro tincture here. I'm going to put that into the field. And I'm going to push down again. And <laughs> it kind of went right back to where it was. I'm pushing on pretty hard. Emilio doesn't yeah. want this to be true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the point is, I'm also going to take uh, my electro pendant, which is a piece of quartz with the homeopathic information in there. We're going to do the same thing. And it's pretty much the same response there. Okay, I'm going to take that back off, put it, all right, resist again. <laughs> and I, I, should, I, can, I can push down that with one arm. Okay, so, okay. So the same thing? Yep, we're going to perform the same test with Nick here. Okay, give me some good resistance. You know, you don't have to fight it too much, but just, okay, you got a pretty good, one more time. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to bring the cell phone in, put that right on the spleen, and <laughs> I am going to... That's insane. I know! <laughs> this is what happens, and so you see that it's causing a major blockage on the meridian system. And I can tell you that right now with that happening, that that's tipping the autonomic n nervous system pretty out of balance there. So I'm going to introduce the electro remedy in, and I'll do that again. And I'm pushing pretty hard here. So it's pretty much back to normal with that. And then I'll introduce the crystal here. Same thing. Resist. And I think that that's actually even for him a little bit better. And this is just a simple piece of quartz. And that's how it works. It's very interesting. Wow. <laughs> I can also duplicate that same thing with, uh, with computerized uh, uh, measuring equipment, or, or EAV, excuse me, um, or an ohm meter. You can measure the same thing. So cool. that's how it works. Well, I'm just so excited you finally got to meet my friend Jeff, who I've been talking about now for a couple of weeks. Um, so you probably are interested where you can get this. I'm going to be selling it for him. He'd rather be in the lab researching than dealing with all this stuff. So on the tinctures, they are $27, right? And it's $10 shipping, so $37. And then on the crystals, if you prefer to wear the jewelry, um, that's $45, and again, it's a $10 shipping fee. So that will be on the front page of uh, Therapeutic Sound and Wellness. Uh, that's where you can find it, and you can pay by PayPal, or you can send check. You'll, you'll see all the information, but it'll be right on the front page of that website. And again, that's TherapeuticSoundAndWellness.com. All right, thanks so much. Uh, Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. Thanks so much. Love you all. Bye.